Hello, welcome to Advanced Composites. Today is the second day of the ongoing week, which is the seventh week of the course. Yesterday, we finished the solution for the last case, which we have been discussing over the last two, three days, that is the case D. And we came up across, we come up, came upon the solution as expressed in these equations for u naught, v naught and w naught. What I like to discuss for next five, seven minutes is the nature of w naught, uh, uh, excuse me, the nature of u naught and how it gets influenced by important parameters related to the lamination sequence. So, let us look at this expression once again u naught x. So, this is for case C, I am sorry for case D. So, u naught x equals D 1 1 q a cube by 24 script a 1 1 divide times d 1 1 into 4 x over a square minus 1 times x over a. Okay. Now, let us look at all these parameters q is positive, a is positive, a 1 1 is always positive and so is d 1 1. So, this entire thing will always be positive number. Okay. Then let us look at this term in the, so this is always positive number. Then this term in the bracket, the maximum value of x will be a, no uh, I am sorry it will be a by 2, because our plate, the total length of the plate is a and our coordinate system starts from the midpoint. So, the maximum value of x will be a over 2, which means that the maximum value of this entire thing in the brackets will be 0. When x is equal to a over 2, then this will be 0. Otherwise, this thing in the parenthesis will always be negative. So, this is a negative number. Okay. And then this parameter, it can be positive or negative. This can be positive. If x is positive, then this is positive, otherwise it is negative. And the same thing is true for b 1 1. This can be positive or it can be negative. And we will see that later, why in one what situation b 1 1 is positive and when is it negative. So, the sign of u it depends on x and v 1 1, right. If it depends on the on, on x and v 1 1 depends. So, if I switch the sign from x to minus x, it switches. Similarly, if I change v 1 1 from positive to negative, it gets switched. Okay. So, we will consider two cases. If b 1 1 is more than 0, b 1 1 is more than 0 and let us say this is my plate and this is the midpoint at x is equal to 0. So, what is the value of uh, this thing? Uh, at x is equal to 0, the displacement will be 0 because x is 0 right? and as I move away from the plate, as I move away from the plate, so at x is equal to 0 u will be 0 because of this term, Nay. because x is 0 here. So, this 0 gets multiplied by this entire thing okay. or you can if you want to simplify it this entire term you can consider it as 4 x cube over a cube minus x over a. So, when x is 0 then it is 0. And as I move 
away from the so x is 0 here u is 0 what about at the ends at x is equal to a over 2 this is again 0 and x is equal to minus a over 2 it is again 0 ok. And in between it becomes large and then again it starts decaying. So, this is how u is changing this is how u is changing over the length of the plate. Now, when b and b 1 1 is more than 0 then this entire thing is positive this is negative uh, ok. So, this entire thing is positive when b 1 1 is larger than 0 hmm? when b 1 1 is positive then this entire expression is positive ok. So, then the sign of u depends on the sign of x. So, in this zone in this zone so ok. So, sorry so we will we'll go back. So, then the sign of this thing depends on x now this is always a positive number negative number this thing and if x is negative if x is negative then u will be positive ok. So, in this region in this region u will be more than 0 in this zone and in this zone u will be less than 0 ok. And how is it going to vary at ends at 0 and a over 2 it will be 0. So, what will happen it will be initially 0 then it will become slightly larger then more large then more large then it may become it will become somewhat maximum then it starts becoming small like this ok. And how does u change in this the, 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 but in all the the, uh, the direction of all the arrows is in the positive x direction this is our positive x direction because that is how we had developed the coordinate system this is x this is origin. So, our so in the first half of the plate u is positive and it initially is 0 it starts growing and then it starts becoming smaller small till at the midpoint it becomes 0. And what happens when b uh, on the other side just the opposite of that happens. So, it is very small then it becomes larger it becomes even more and then it becomes maybe at a maximum point and then small it starts decay is becoming smaller like this ok. So, this is when b 1 1 is more than 0 and when b 1 1 is less than 0 for the other case just the opposite will happen ok. So, if this is the length of the plate at x is equal to 0 x is 0 here u will be 0 you also u is 0 here at the boundaries because that is how we have prescribed the boundary conditions, but because b 1 1 is negative this term in green it becomes a negative entity this is always negative this term is always negative. So, negative time negative becomes positive and what that means is that whenever x is positive u will be positive. So, here u will be more than 0 and here u will be less than 0 ok. Now, what does that mean physically? So, we will draw that. So, here u is positive, but very small then it starts becoming larger and then it becomes small like this and on the other side it is negative. So, the question is in what case b is positive and what case b is negative hmm? this is something we have to think about. 
So, what is the so when is B one one positive and when is B one one negative? It depends on the lamination sequence. So, consider a lamination sequence z uh, 0 to 92. Uh, so, the lamination sequence is 0 to 92, which means top two layers are 0 degrees and the bottom two layers are 90 degrees. And in this case, this is the mid plane. So, here z is equal to 0 and let us say each layer is 1 millimeter thick. So, here z is equal to minus 2 and here z is equal to plus 2. Okay. So, what is the definition of B 1 1? B 1 1 is equal to Q 1 1 times z k square minus z k minus 1 square into 1 over 2 and this is actually q 1 1 bar and this I summate from k is equal to 1 to n. Okay. Now, effectively here it has two layers even though we can call it uh, four layers, but the two layers of 0 we can combine them as a single layer and two layers of 90 we can combine them as a single layer. So, in this case n is equal to 2 and q 1 1 bar let us say for the 0 degree layer will be much higher than q 1 1 bar for 90 degree layer right. Because the laminate is much more stiff in the one direction and it is not that stiff in 90 degrees direction. Okay. So, we will put some values on this. So, let us say this is 20. So, we will say that q 1 1 bar for 0 degrees is 20 into 10 to the power of 6 and q 1 1 bar for 90 degree layer is 10 to the power of 6 it is that much different. Okay. So, for this laminate it will be b 1 1 equals half which I take out and so this is 20 into uh, 0 minus so 0 square which is z k. So, we I am just for calculating for the 0 degree layer. So, 0 square minus minus 2 square hmm, plus 1 into 2 square minus 0 square. Okay. So, this works and times 10 to the power of 6. So, this comes out to be 10 to the power of 6 over 2 and this is 20 times minus 4. So, minus 80 plus 4 is equal to minus 76 into 10 to the power of 6 by 2. So, you can say it minus 38 into 10 to the power of 6. Okay. So, this is for 0 degree 0 90 cell laminate. Now, we will consider another lamination sequence. So, here it is 90 0. So, this is 92 and this is 0 2. So, in this case B 1 1 equals half. So, once again we will assign z is equal to 0 here 
z is equal to minus 2 and z is equal to plus 2. Uh, so, b 1 1 equals half times for the 90 degree layer what is it? It is 1 into 0 square minus minus 2 square plus 20 times 2 square minus 0 square. Okay. So, if you do the math this comes out to be plus 38 times 10 to the power of 6. So, what that means is that the direction of u will be like this. So, here b 1 1 is more than 0 which means if the lamination sequence if the plate is like this uh, b 1 1 more than 0 means that the top layer is 90 and the bottom layer is 0 then the deflection of u will be in this pattern. And in this case b 1 1 is less than 0 which means that here I have just taken the same plate, but I have just switched it and made it upside down. So, here the top layer is 0 and the bottom layer is 90 and when that happens and when I load it from uh, using this uh, vertical load q then the deflection of u just switches because of the role of b 1 1. Okay. So, this is again important to understand that the lamination sequence is not only lamination sequence is important also how we place the plate relative to the load that is also important whether we are putting load on the 90 degree ply or on the 0 degree ply and so on and so forth. So, this is something very important to uh, understand. So, this is what I wanted to cover today tomorrow kitna time huh? tomorrow we will start a different problem. So, till so far we have discussed all these four cases A, B, C and D, two of these cases were uh, symmetric laminates, two were not symmetric laminates, but in all the four cases the load on the plate was transverse and its intensity was q Newton, Newtons per meter. Now, what we will do is we will have a new problem where we will not have a transverse load, but we will have a load in the x direction and see how plates behave. So, that is what we plan to do tomorrow and till then have a great day. Thank you.